Alright, today is a little bit of an exciting one. Uh, I'm taking the Jeep first time off-roading. The plan is to drive a little bit off the road and then park somewhere and, and start walking. And Well, one thing about off-roading in New Zealand is that sheep everywhere. Bees, a lot of them, heaps. Well, there's a river crossing and I take her shoes off because it's a little bit too soon to, to get her boots wet. Man, that's so good. <laughs> it feels so good. I've been climbing for the last hour and it's just solid up, up. But it's cool. Uh, it's just an epic view from here. It's amazing. Oh, looks like the weather just got up with me. Um, still pretty warm though. But it's good that the sun gives a little bit of a break. That's the easy way of getting out of a tramping trip. But it's not for me. I'm walking. It's a lot cooler down here, a uh, bit more refreshing out of the sun. I'm very comfortable on this track. You know, you can't always trust on the GPS. Sometimes it's good to use old gut feeling. <laughs>
interested. Uh, but it was cool, it was pretty satisfying, you know, looking back now and, and seeing all, all, all the hills that I've just been through and yeah, it's pretty cool. If you're vegetarian, uh, thank you for watching and you can go now. There was a lovely couple that I met from the North Island, they were hunting down here and they managed to get deer uh, yesterday, so they just in the hut and cut the whole thing up and I had some for dinner and I got a whole leg. So I've been carrying this all day, I don't know, it feels really heavy. So that's kind of didn't help with the weight, but that's it, so... So cold. <laughs> you know, people say you go off road, four wheel drive, you can get your car covered in mud and all of that. I don't really know what's the big deal about it. Like, there's heaps of free car washes in there anyway. Like, that's number 15, I don't know. And the car's not even that dirty, you see, like, it's been cleaned. All you can see is a stain, not a stain.